Hello kids! Welcome to Mathalum channel. In today's video we will learn how to find discount and sale price. Come, let's learn together. First, we will set learning targets in today's lesson. At the end of this video, you are expected to solve for present problems involving discounts and sale price. Use the appropriate formula, apply and learn the activities. Before we proceed, let's prepare ourselves by learning difficult words we will encounter throughout the lesson. Discount is the amount of reduction. It is the amount deducted from the original price. Here are the other terms used in solving discount problems. Original price or OP is the regular price charge of the item. We have discount rate, or DR, is the percent taken off from the original price. Then, we have sale price. Sale price, or SP, is also known as the net price or discounted price. It is the price of the item after the discount has been deducted. So, we should not forget that discount and net price both represent percentages, while original price represents base, and also discount rate represents rate. But just remember the Tikan's triangle, and help you remember the three formulas for easy understanding. Let's try to solve this sample word problem. Jacob waited until after summer to buy jeans. He found one amounting to 2,500 pesos and was selling at the discount of 40%. How much did Jacob save by waiting? How much did he pay for the jeans? We must understand the problem by simply taking all the details given. The 2,500 pesos amount of price is the original price that represents the base and 40% is the discount rate. Now, the amount deducted from the original price is unknown. We are referring to the discount. All right, let's work together and find the solution to this problem. Solve the problem, we apply the formula. In the discount formula, we have discount or D equals the original price times the discount rate. Now we substitute its value, 2,500 pesos for the original price times 40% for the discount rate. Let's convert first percent to decimal number. To convert percent into decimal number, it is surprisingly easy. It takes a few simple steps. First, locate the decimal point at the rightmost side of the whole number. We will move the decimal point two places to the left, like this, one and two. Then remove the percent symbol. 40% is equal to 40 hundredths. Now let's proceed to the multiplication operation. For the solution, multiply 2,500 pesos times 40 hundredths. As a rule, we will multiply these like whole numbers, starting with the first digit 0. 0 times 0 equals 0, 0 times 0 equals 0, 0 times 5 equals 0, 0 times 2 equals 0. Now for the next digit multiplier, we have 4. 4 times 0 equals 0, 4 times 0 equals 0, 4 times 5 equals 20. Regroup the two digits, bring down 0, and carry 2 to the next column of our multiplicand. 4 times 2 equals 8, plus 2 equals 10. Bring down the two digit 10. Next, we will add 
the partial products. Bring down 0, 0 plus 0 equals 0, 0 plus 0 equals 0, 0 plus 0 equals 0, bring down 0, and the last digit 10. Now, the next step is we have to count the decimal places that we have in our factors. For the multiplicand, we have no decimal place. And for our multiplier, we have two decimal places. Now, we are going to add the decimal places that we have for both factors. So therefore, we have two decimal places. We use this uh, total number of decimal places of both factors in our final product. So we move two decimal places going to the left as we go on like this. One and two. So the answer is 1,000 pesos. Our discount is 1,000 pesos. This is the answer to the problem, how much did Jacob save by waiting? The answer is, Jacob saved 1,000 pesos by waiting. But wait, we still have to solve for the sale price. Let's continue. Now, to compute for the sale price, we use the formula. SP stands for sale price equals original price, or OP, minus D stands for discount. So, SP equals OP minus D. Substitute the value of the original price, we have 2,500 pesos, minus the discount, 1,000 pesos. So, the sale price is 1,500 pesos. Therefore, Jacob saved 1,000 pesos and paid for 1,500 pesos for the jeans. Let's take a look at another example. Mr. Cruz bought a long sleeve polo with a 15% discount. How much did Mr. Cruz save and pay if the price tag of the long sleeve polo is 1,575 pesos? Check the details given. What are given in the problem? We have 15% discount. Uh, that would be the discount rate. And we have 1,575 pesos. Uh, this would be the original price. Now still, the discount is missing. And in order for us to solve the discount, we will use the formula. D equals OP times DR, or discount equals original price times discount rate. Now substitute the formula. 1,575 pesos for original price times 15% for the discount rate. Again, convert percent to decimal number. I simply uh, taking the simple steps by moving the decimal point two places to the left, like this. One and two. Don't forget to remove the percent symbol. So 15% is equal to 15 hundredths. Now, we can now multiply original price of 1,575 pesos times 15 hundredths or 0.15. So to do the multiplication operation, let's multiply like whole numbers. First, 5 times 5 equals 25. Regroup, bring down 5, carry 2 to the next column. 5 times 7 equals 35 plus 2 equals 37. Regroup again, bring down 7, carry 3 to the next place digit. Next, 5 times 5 equals 25 plus 3 equals 28. Bring down 8, carry 2 to the next column. 5 times 1 equals 5 plus 2 equals 7. Then let's proceed to the next uh, digit multiplier, which is 1. 1 times 5 equals 5. 1 times 7 equals 7. 1 times 5 equals 5. 1 times 1 equals 1. We have our 
partial products. All we need to do is to get the total products. We will add both partial products. 5, bring down 5. 7 plus 5 equals 12. Bring down 2, carry 1 to the next column. 8 plus 7 equals 15 plus 1 equals 16. Bring down 6, carry 1. 7 plus 5 equals 12 plus 1 equals 13. Bring down 3, carry 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So this time, we will count the number of decimal places in both factors. From multiplicand, we have no decimal place. In our multiplier, we have two decimal places. So if we are going to add the, the decimal places that we have, we got two decimal places. So these two decimal places, we will use uh, the number of places in our final product. So Therefore, we have two decimal places. We will move this decimal point in our final product two times to the left. One and two. So therefore, our discount is 236 pesos and 25 centavos. So Mr. Cruz saved 236 pesos and 25 centavos. Now to compute for the sale price, we use the formula. Sale price equals original price minus discount. Substitute the formula. Original price which is 1,575 pesos minus discount which is 236 pesos and 25 centavos. Now we get the difference of 1,338 pesos and 75 centavos. Therefore, Mr. Cruz paid 1,338 pesos and 75 centavos. We have the answer. Mr. Cruz saved 236 pesos and 25 centavos and paid 1,338 pesos and 75 centavos for the long sleeve poll. Let's learn more. Try to solve the problem by completing the table and the word problem as well. Once you're done, you may check your answers on the description down below. Good luck! See you in the next video!